Wow, he's about Shamwell, You know you're a naughty boy. I'm just gonna skip a bunch of BS. There he is, there he is. Look at baby Zeus's mouth. Found him, we found him, we found him. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian fish keeper. We got an emergency right now. I'm just gonna skip a bunch of BS. We're gonna get right into it. I just uh, saw something in the predator tank. That was a little disturbing, so let me show you guys. Let's go. Okay, so I just happened to walk by the tank. It's uh, it's about 9 o'clock right now at night, and look at baby Zeus's mouth. And I am like, what is in his mouth? And you know what it looks like? You know exactly what it looks like, a catfish. You can see the whisker. It's my Cynodonus catfish, which he's got him in backwards. So that's the Cynodonus catfish's uh, face or his head so we if you guys don't know Cynodonus catfish they have really prickly like dorsal fins and so what's going to happen is they're expanded and he's not going to be able to swallow that so I got to get him I got to net him I got to put him in this bucket that I have right here and we are going to uh, do a little operation hopefully I can save the Cynodonus catfish I believe he's still breathing in there I can see his his uh, antenna moving, so or his whiskers. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to get this. All right, wish me luck, guys. Let's try to save this Cynodonus catfish. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get some water in this bucket here. So let's go ahead and get this siphon. This siphon going. Gonna fill this bucket. This is gonna be our emergency bucket that we're gonna use to uh, try to save my Cynodonus catfish, which is weird because the Cynodonus catfish usually hides behind this piece of driftwood right here. See that piece of driftwood? That's where the Cynodonus catfish usually hides, like way tucked in underneath. So it's kind of weird that he even has them in his mouth right now. Um, maybe Zeus went back there and, and saw him, or maybe he came out to maybe get something to eat or snack on or something. And next thing you know, baby Zeus just jumps on him and just swallows them. The Cynodonus catfish is probably a little bit smaller than the Green Terror. We're going to try to save this guy though. So here we go. Water's getting filled. Uh, we'll probably use about that much. That's good enough. So all right, we'll take this out. All right, next is to net this bad boy. You know you're a naughty boy. All right, so I got the big net. We're going to go in and try to get baby Zeus. Uh, behind the camera is Mrs. Hawaiian Fish Keeper. So if you hear some screams, it might be her, okay? So uh, just so you guys know. So let's go inside. Here we go, babe. Go ahead and uh, video him, my lovely assistant camera lady. And we are going to try to net this guy, which he's about 9, 10 inches right now. So maybe he might just spit him out after, after stress. So here, we got him netted. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. It's going to get kind of crazy. We're going to go straight out. Oh, I got the sham wow, sham wow in here. Babe. Here we go, right down in here. Right down in here. Babe. Down. Babe, I think yeah. I think he I think yeah. he dropped him. I think I think he let it go of him. What? Did he? Yeah. Where? Yeah, In I, the tank? Yeah, yeah. I got the Okay, let's see here. Let's see what he looks like. Did he spit him out? I'm pretty sure he did. Okay, so Mrs. I, Hawaiian I, Fishkeeper says, uh, I think he did you see it on camera? I was too busy trying to net him, but I think he spit him out. Now is he alive? I swam. Oh really? Did you get it on camera? I think jeez. I didn't even see him. Let's see. I know where his home is. His home is back over here. Um, let's see if we can... Is he? Let's see, can you guys see him? No, I don't think he's hurt. I don't see him. He's usually back here in the wood. But I definitely don't see him in his mouth. So, wow, maybe we did get him out, guys. Maybe we did get him out. Everybody else is just kind of kosher, but man, look at baby Zeus. Look how long this dude is. I'm gonna go get a measuring tape. Since we have him out, I'm gonna go ahead and get a measuring tape. Yeah, look at, you can see his mouth. He's got nothing in his mouth, so thank God he spit him out. And the Cynodonus catfish is alive. I just gotta try to find him. So let me go get a measuring tape. Let's measure baby Zeus since we have him out here. 
All right, here is the measuring tape. As you can see, it's just touching the edge of that bucket. So we're gonna go at the edge of the bucket here and his head is, wow, he's about 12 and a half inches, guys. I'm gonna go right over his entire body with the measuring tape all the way to the end of the bucket. So he is a little over a foot long. So now, since he doesn't have the uh, Synodonis catfish in his mouth anymore, we gotta net him again and put him back in the tank. So wish me luck. All right, whew, that was a workout. So we're gonna go ahead and net baby Zeus and put him back into the tank. So uh, the whole thing with uh, keeping monster fish and predator fish, this is the part where it could be a little stressful. And if you're not on top of your game, you can lose fish very fast. As you can see, uh, we managed to rescue the Synodonus catfish from baby Zeus's mouth without injuring baby Zeus, the Ocellaris peacock bass. So I'm sweating over here. We're gonna go ahead and net him and um, put him back in the tank. So let's bring him home. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the sham wild towel. We're gonna net him, drape the net so he doesn't splash and kick water everywhere. And then we're gonna ease him back into the tank. So let's go ahead, let's get down here, all right? He's kind of moving around. We're gonna try, can you get him? Can you see him pretty good? Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. He's gonna splash everywhere too. Get on top of it, can you see? We're gonna try to net him nice and easy without him trying to kick around too much, which is probably gonna be damn near impossible. So, okay, I got him in the net. Here we go, net, and here goes the kicking. Sham wow, baby, sham wow, sham wow. We got water all over the tank, but it's okay. Look at, we got baby Zeus back in his tank. Probably a little stressed, I would say, but never fear, we got him. He's doing okay, he's doing okay. Yeah, he's probably a little work, but he's, <laughs> look at him. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's what he's probably feeling like. Uh, but the most important thing is he's good and he didn't eat. The Synodonis catfish, which was in his mouth backwards. What a knucklehead. Okay, we found him. We found him. We found him. Um, he's back in his spot. He's right behind the piece of driftwood here. All right, guys. I do see him. He is, you can see his whisker right there. I'll put an arrow to the whisker, but you can see him moving. There he is. See him moving? Uh, let me try to zoom in on him. There he is. There he is. There he is. The Synodonis catfish is alive. So I don't even know. This is where he usually hangs out until nighttime. And then he comes out. Um, so maybe he came out for a brief second and, and it was in front of baby Zeus. And baby Zeus just, you know, pounced on top of him. So that's pretty wild. But good news at the end of this video. We saved the Synodonis catfish without injuring baby Zeus. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and throw some cichlid XL and some food sticks, carnivore food sticks by Akari in this tank. And let's just feed these guys, all right? Watch them go to town, especially this guy. Let's see if he's even gonna eat the pellets. All right, we got our little cup full and we are going to put it right here in this little slot that I made. Let's see, it could get pretty ugly in here. See, just like that. This guy's not even, uh, he, I guess he's fine, huh? Here go the other guys. Red Moda, Severum, Green Terror, they're all eating. Looking good, we got a bunch of uh, food floating around here. Baby Zeus will wind up and start smashing the surface. I'm glad to see him eating, that means he's fine. We got Jack Dempsey down there. He's got food in his uh, mouth too as well, but watch him smash the surface. Here he goes. Man, so aggressive. Such an aggressive eater. Hey, you owe me, man. I saved your life. That Synodonis could have jacked you up if I wasn't paying attention. Baby Zeus, who's pushing 12 and a half inches, guys. My goodness. This guy just goes ballistic on a Synodonis catfish. Crazy. Deranged, crazy, deranged. Peacock bass. 
Well, I'm glad the drama is over. Baby Zeus taking a big yawn right there. Did you see that? My God, the dude's mouth is huge, but not huge enough to go tail first on a Sinodonis catfish. Just remember, if you have a Sinodonis catfish, I want to say majority of catfish, their pectoral fins, they flare out like little grappling hooks to prevent bigger fish like that from swallowing them whole. And he learned a lesson. I think he learned a lesson. We'll see. But like I said, the tank of terror strikes again. When you own monster fish, predator fish, they keep you on your toes. The thing with owning predator fish is they're so unpredictable. You can't predict anything. You know, you may think, oh, you have the right recipe of fish in the tank to get along, but you, you really can't depend on that. There is no right recipe. Um, they're predators. You know, their predator instincts will come out, they'll attack. And it's just something as a fish keeper uh, who keeps predator fish, you have to be on your toes and you have to have your A game on at all times. In the end, it's all good news. Everybody has survived. There's no injuries on um, baby Zeus, my Ocellaris peacock bass, or my Synodonis catfish who is back home behind the, uh, the driftwood there. But we'll see you on the next video, all right? Happy fish, happy life. Much love and aloha.